southern pool and the northern pool. Today, you cannot see much of it because 97% of the pool is covered with dirt. Over the time, they brought dirt and trash to the pool. Now, I try to describe where the, the pool used to be. Okay, from here, you see, down here soon you will look and see the, the, uh, the depth of the pool all the way to the far wall. And all the area you see with the trees, this would have been one of the pools. I mean, in relation to it, we are standing much higher. So from here to the far wall and all the way to the building and back, it's one of the pools. The second pool you see was from the ruins we see here to the right. All the area where the, where the other trees are and underneath is the second half. But it's all covered. In the middle, in the middle part, today we see ruins of churches. The lower church, Byzantine time. The, the tall wall above it, it's Crusader time. So you see, the pool was divided in the middle. And in the middle part, now we have ruins of churches. And that's important also for the story, because in the Gospel of John 5, it is written that the pool of Bethesda was surrounded, surrounded by five colonnades. So think if, if you have a, a pool with a, like a square feet pool, it's only four sides. The fifth colonnade refers to the middle. So that's why it says that it was surrounded by five colonnades. The, the fifth is the middle part. But over time, things were covered up. Now, to the right, which is lower than the Byzantine church, lower than the Byzantine church, they've discovered ruins of the temple, a pagan temple. And we know which idol the people used to worship here. His name was Exlapion, or Exlepius, and he was known as the god of good health. The god of good health. His logo, the logo of his idol, was a staff with a serpent around it. We all know it as the doctor sign, or the medical sign. So we see that here Jesus came and performed a, a, an amazing miracle, the healing of the invalid, who had an infirmity for 38 years, maybe to show the people that he was the great healer and physician and not the idol, not Exlapion. So that's why we hear it's nearby the pool of Bethesda. The, now, the church next to us, it goes back to the uh, Crusader time, it was built about 800 years ago. It was named after Mary's mother, St. Anne's Church. Anna, Hannah, 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 the mother. Hannah. Later, when you enter the church, immediately to the left, there is a beautiful image there of Mary <coughs> and, and, uh, as a young girl, and Anna, the mother. So the, 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 the reason the church is still here, because when the Muslims, when they took the city, Salah Hadid, from the Crusaders, they have destroyed uh, almost 80%, 90% of the churches, but they didn't touch the one here because it became uh, a school. It was converted to a school, elementary school for the Muslim children. You see above the door, there is an Arabic inscription there. It glorifies the name of Salah Hadi. So that's why the church is still, but now it's back to the church. It, uh, the, the whole site here is uh, under the responsibility of the white father. Uh, French, Catholic, uh, the French flag up there. Uh, so the grotto of the church, which you can also go and visit, believed to be the birth site of uh, Mother Mary. Uh, I think that there is a, a, like actually another traditional site. Even the white fathers are saying that some believe that Mary was born in Galilee and not in Jerusalem. So there is a place nearby Nazareth called Siforis. Uh, we also believe there's a Catholic church there, believed to be also a possible site of the, uh, of the birth of uh, the Virgin Mary. But so I think there are two actually uh, possibilities, either one here or the one in Galilee. So, uh, uh, so I think maybe we should have like only a few minutes to visit the church. Uh, to take pictures of the pool here, and then we'll go. Uh, they will prepare a map for us. Okay.